hey y'all Cy here so I am excited to get going on this mermaid Woo! it is another um, stained glass design yeah and today is a beautiful sunny day yay it's almost warm enough for me to take my sweatshirt off but not quite the pieces that I have picked out for this mermaid so far for her skin I have some cedar for her swimsuit I have purple heart for her hair I have yellow heart and then for the tail or the fins her fin I thought it would be really cool to try and make it in driftwood I have been wanting to make something with driftwood and so I'm just gonna try that see how it works I'm thinking I'm gonna try to wear my loops doing this the loops have a 2.5 magnification and it really helped Alrighty, so now I have to deal with these driftwood pieces and cut out the tail fin. Hmm. So I think I just need to sand these flat and maybe even the top flat so I can glue the pattern to it at least. Let's do that next. This driftwood piece sanded easily and was very white in color. worked out pretty well. Sure is a light piece of wood. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna flatten the rest. The other pieces were harder wood and quite a bit darker. I placed the pattern over the tops and cut away. Wally was being such a good watchdog. I removed the papers and it's always fun when those colors get revealed. Then off to the sander to shape each piece. right now woo! and I'm actually wearing shorts yay it's warm enough to wear shorts yay so I love it I am going to start sanding with 100 grit well it's down to 60 today but it's not very windy well, just a little bit of wind but not bad and I think a lot of what's going on outside is that smoke from Canada, I guess. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I took the pattern and used carbon paper to trace the outer shape so I could cut the backer. I keep trying to do this different ways and the best way i found is when the project is all glued together and you can lift it up and put it on your backer and then trace it. But I don't glue the project together every time so that doesn't work always. So I just keep trying new stuff. And this worked this time. I should probably get a white pencil or something so that it would be easier to see the cut line. For how many times I flipped this over, you'd think I'd know which side was the back, but I didn't. You'll, you'll see later. I put Danish oil on each piece. So while that's drying, I thought I would add a verse to the back. And I was like, well, what kind of verse can I use for mermaid? And I thought, well, you know, this is creativity, making up a mermaid and stuff like that. So. A verse about a guy that was used because he was a craftsman and it says that he was able to design pieces made of bronze and silver and 
stuff and to cut stones and cut wood. And so I'm just going to put that verse about that guy. So cool. Someone like this guy had to think of mermaids or maybe it was this guy. Anyway, the verse says he is able to design pieces to be made of gold, silver, and bronze, to cut stones and jewels and put them in metal, to carve wood, and to do all kinds of work. I've also learned a new way to cut the hanger screws if they stick out the back, using a Dremel and a cutoff disc. Sorry I don't show it very well, but it works amazing! Thank you, Leroy! Then I noticed how cute Gibbs was sleeping with his little paw under his face. Aww. Well, I put this stuff on the wrong side. Oops. So I have to do it over. So I did it again on the correct side. Then I started gluing everything to the backer. Sometimes I put all the pieces on the backer and lift each piece to glue, and sometimes I have the pieces sitting to the side, or a combo of each technique, um, like I'm doing right now. Seems that I don't do anything consistently, but that's okay, right? I think I will, however, use the Dremel to cut the tips off the screws from now on. And I really like how the driftwood turned out. So what I realized with the driftwood is if something's going to be one piece, like if this is all one fin, it would have been better if it was all the same kind of driftwood, since it's kind of mystery wood, um, because we can. S th this is just different than this one, but I, I think it works for this project anyway. And so, yeah, now I'm excited to try more projects with driftwood. So this pattern is a stained glass pattern. That's a free pattern. And so I'm going to put this pattern onto my Pinterest page. And so I'll leave a link down in the description box. It's Size Corner Pinterest. And so anybody can have access to that pattern if they want to. Um, anyway, so thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Oh.